Here's a little pop quiz for you. What do Ellen DeGeneres, Michael Phelps and Justin Bieber have in common? This! They use hyperbaric oxygen chambers. Let me share more about this hyperbaric cocoon, right? So hyperbaric, we must first understand what does this word actually mean first. Yeah. So hyper being high, right? And baric being pressure. So this cocoon would be a high pressure cocoon. Oh, so having such a high pressure environment in a small chamber like that, what does it do? Getting oxygen into your blood vessels or into your body, mm. that can help you uh, metabolize away the lactic acid better. Uh. Yeah, because the breakdown of lactic acid requires oxygen and hence doing cocoon will help you recover faster and besides sports recovery the cocoon also help with mental um, performance as well because we also know that the brain consumes 20 percent of the blood oxygen supply right so and that's where we provide what it needs to perform the tasks that it is tasked to do wow so i can improve my cognitive ability too yeah how many times do i have to use this to see those benefits can range up to 20 to even 60 sessions. And these 20 sessions would drag over maybe four weeks. And how long is each session? Each session is about one to two hours long. Wow, so that's a good amount of time in that cocoon. Yeah. The air we breathe normally contains 21% oxygen. Oh, wow. All right, zip me up. But in the cocoon, every breath we take contains 95% oxygen close to five times the usual amount. Okay, Sri, I'm pressurizing the cocoon. And as Josh increases the pressure in the cocoon from a typical one unit of atmospheric pressure to 1.5 units, even more oxygen particles rush in to fill up the space. And with nearly seven times more oxygen particles than usual dissolving into my bloodstream, my cells and tissues are supposed to regenerate and heal at a faster speed. You can feel the ears, yeah, but it's move your jaws, by itself. Yeah. Yeah. pinch your nose. Every few seconds, my ears are closing. I'm having to pop them so that the pressure doesn't get too much. 15 minutes in and I'm getting used to the pressure. And surprisingly, it's getting quite comfy. Say, so, are you ready to come out? No, I'm liking it now. <laughs> so if you're ready, I will start to decompress. All right, Stray. How do you feel? Wow. I'm feeling that lightheadedness. I was beginning to feel like my muscles loosen a bit also, like tension was releasing. This hack, which claims to aid in my muscle recovery, will set me back a whopping 3,000 Singapore dollars a month if I rent one for my home. Let's get real. I can't afford this. But for the purpose of our show, Josh has loaned me a hyperbaric oxygen cocoon so I can try it for my biohacking adventure. So check it out. It's all set up, ready to go. In this goes. I'm liking this. It's like a little pod for me to rejuvenate. It's under constant supervision is crucial. Meanwhile, I'm starting to feel some positive changes from my other hacks. Good morning, guys. Crazy thing, last night I tried the oxygen chamber after a long day. When I got out, I was feeling a little lightheaded, so I went straight to bed. And this morning, I do track my sleep, so check out the results. It shows me that for the first three hours of my night's sleep, I was in solid, deep sleep. 